Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, another episode of the Factorio B.I.Y. series, Build It Yourself. I'm still pretty, still pretty happy about the name, to be honest. Uh, let's see, let's take a quick recap. Last episode, we opened up a new world, Test Live. And one of the things I wanted to figure out is how far could we get in an hour? And I was actually pretty happy about it. For one hour, we got a very substantial amount of iron and copper processing setup. Coal could use a little more love, since everything else is being tapped into that. Uh, but we've got all our smelting setup. We have a very robust red-green science. We've got some reserves we can tap into, a handful of chests, etc. We got ammunition, we got turrets, we got steel. So I was actually pretty happy with this build-out. Um, with this steel, um, steel's a limit, really. <laughs> uh, we didn't get as far in the tech trees I wanted. We only got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 technologies researched. Fine, not the end of the world. Um, but right now, I think this is, this is reasonable for one person to do in one hour. I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, we also knocked out a couple nests. There were one, two, three nests here. One nest here. I don't know about that yet. <laughs> uh, I'm in editor mode, so it's just I'm uncovering the map as I go. Um, but that worked out really well, actually. That, that'll that keep everything red-green running while we do other stuff. Speaking of other stuff, let's go back to our blueprint world. Um, what else did I want to change? I don't know if there was anything I wanted to specifically change here. I would have liked it if inserters and belts would trigger earlier. But, meh. That can be completely controlled as to whether or not stuff gets built, right? So, like, how do we emphasize belts early? Well, I just don't deploy any of the red science. Boom. Early belts, right? Uh, that works out pretty well. I think I'm pretty happy with this setup as is. Um, yeah. Yeah, no notes. So, what else do we have in our tech tree to work on? Um, oil and blue science is a nice jump. Oh, actually the inserters. Yeah, this will be, this might be an easy win. Uh, belts underneath these and, uh, splitters. Now, again, our doctrine of this whole thing, I'll go from left to right. Left to right's easier. It's how I read stuff. Uh, the thing I want to emphasize is I want to make sure that this is as compact as possible with as little faffing about as needed to do adjustments and tweaks and changes and whatever. So let's actually spread this out. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so what do I need? I need iron, I need gears. So let's... Gears. Plates, plates, I need... Green circuits. Uh, might make green circuits on site again. I don't know. Um, wire. And just to symbolize that I need some sort of smelting, there's that. So I need iron plates, copper plates to make that. Uh, that'll just keep everything here isolated? I don't know. Uh, again, I'm trying to make this as copy-pasteable as possible without the assumption that you have a ton of green circuit production beforehand. Now, for red circuits, we might do that, but... We'll, we'll get there in due time. That might be its own episode, is just red circuits. Um, this also needs iron plates. What do you need? Gears again, yep. Gears again, gears again, green circuits. And you need red circuits and lubricant. So, very similar to how we did our inserters is we incorporate them in a very trickled amount, right? I split it right here so we don't have a full belt of reds floating around. That's kind of how I want to do that. I think that works out pretty well. Um, so that, that was a system that we developed that I haven't deployed yet, but that's pretty good. Um, so I need iron, copper, red circuits, because I'm not making those locally. Forget that crap. Iron, copper, lubricant, red circuits. Okay, this comes over here as a thing we need. So spread this out a little bit more. That's better. Okay, uh, iron comes in. Let's get some of this happening. I need iron plates. 
copper plates and red circuits let's see if i can make green circuits on here not suck enough you need five every second Ooh. okay and another 10 every two seconds okay you know what we're importing green circuits as well making it on site here doesn't make any sense it made sense for this because i don't I don't need it in super high volume. But this is going to make it every half second. It's, it's going to be a little shy. A little shy of every half second. I think, this, I think this worked out pretty well. Because I also only need one of them. If I need five and then ten, every... No, it would be five, five, and then ten. So twenty every two seconds? Uh, we're, not, we're not at those numbers. Those numbers make it completely... In unfeasible, infeasible, irrefeasible, unfeasible. It makes it unreasonable for us to make it on site. That's, that's what I'm getting at. So four products we're bringing in. Uh, we're not making that. We're not making that. We're not making that. We're not making that. Gears are fine. We're not making that. Cool. That trim this out substantially. We'll let something else handle that. How many gears do I need? I need one gear. I need five gears. I need ten gears. Nope. Yep. Uh, Forty gears. Ten gears. Okay. I want at a minimum two two gear make majigs. It doesn't have to match. We're not trying to match production levels, but I do want more than like two or more than one, at least. Um, let's see here. How how would this work? Gear, 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 no gear, no gear, gear. Gear, gear, gear. Almost everything needs gears. That's my thinking noise. Um, Alright. Well... First of all, let's work on how items transfer to each other, right? Uh, the way this game operates is everything kind of turns into the next tier. So for the basic splitters, the yellow splitters, they get turned into the fast splitters, the red ones, and they get turned into the express ones, the blue ones. So it goes up like this. To make this kind of easy for us to store each thing, we could do something like this, and then... Uh, I don't think I like that. <laughs> now that I did it, I don't think I like it. Okay, and then this can loop back in onto itself. Uh, realistically, this can also be upgraded later for logistics. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, first of all... Boop. 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 Uh, what I really mean by that is we can put, pa uh, active... No, they're not called... What are they called? Active requesters? Requester chests. The blue ones. We can put requester chests and we could say, Hey, I need a billion yellow belts. And the cool thing is the second you get to red belt technology, you can just put all the yellow ones in your trash. And logistics bots will pull and just get rid of it for you. Yeah. It's not too bad. Um, so I'm going to leave this here just so it's wired. Um, maybe set up power real quick. Now, how do we get materials fed throughout the system? Iron gear red circuit is what you need. So I'm going to pull this out slightly. One, two, three. Um... Ironing gear and red circuit. So this is going to be... Uh, this is going to kind of be this nonsense again, isn't it? Uh, how did I do it for the inserters? Oh, it curves up and because it's iron, it's still technically on the line. Right, right, right. 
Um, so this will... Hold on. Thank you. Uh, actually, this is a little more... <laughs> I keep cutting myself off and I don't know why. There we go. Boop, boop. So... I need iron on the inside. Let's see how I did it with the other one. I know I've already built this before- oh, I see, okay. Like, I've already built this before, so I'm not cheating off of myself? That would be weird. Uh, this looks like this, and then this looks like this, and there you go. So that's how you get your gears and your iron on one line. Right. Uh, not too dumb. Not too dumb. Yeah, that works. Again, I'm not really anticipating this is going to be the Giga Production Facility, but it's going to be something. So that goes right there. Nice and neat. Um, what else? Iron gear on this line. What else do we need? Red circuits. Um, everything is going to need iron and gears, it seems. So this is going to be a little more clustery, maybe one, two, three, than I would like. Maybe something like this. And then ironing gears goes all the way around. At least one time. Ironing gears. Again, I don't anticipate this to be fast. Oh, actually, you know what? I just thought of something. This isn't going to work. Because this has to be in the middle. Everything feeds off the yellow belt. That looks much better. Okay, so I kind of forgot that the underneath these require yellow belt. The splitters require yellow belt. After that, it doesn't need yellow belt specifically. It uses whatever came before it. But yellow belts are defo what we need to go throughout the chain. So there's that. Okay, so back to this. So actually, this works out perfectly. Iron, gear, gear, right? This is iron and gear. Uh, gear, 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 iron, and green circuit, which we haven't touched yet, but we'll get to it. That's ironing gear for everybody. Not nearly enough. We're using literally a single yellow belt, which is not ideal. What if we pull this up one? Uh, I And we put iron on its own line again? Let me crazy, but maybe something like this. So we have iron, we don't need copper, there's green circuits, and then I gotta figure out what I want to do with red circuits. But this this kind of ensures we have a better saturation of iron and it's not being picked apart by one thing specifically. Because you need plates and you need gears, and you need plates and gears, so something like this. Give you a little bit more priority on the matter. Uh, this is also green circuits. You don't need green circuits. You don't need it. You need reds. You need greens and... Oh, you don't need... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, back that ass up. Hold on. Okay, now we're good. It's <laughs> very frustrating. I didn't know what to do. I was so scared. I need an adult. I am an adult. Uh. And this is going to be humorous, so we're going to do lubricant barrel, just like that. Now, if we already are at logistics level when we're using this, we could just use bots to move the barrels around, but I kind of don't want to mess with that. So, uh, let's actually trim this down a little bit, get this all within its own square, right? Now, iron is going to be, gears are going to be, well, we could do... Leave this or not. 
gears are going to be on the far wall, so there's that. Oh, this little design is cute. Looks inefficient as F, but it looks cute. I like it. Human music. Oh, I like it. So there's that. Actually, to make this look a little more linear... Or at least mirroring a little bit better. That mirror is a little bit better in my brain. I'm happy with that. Um, good. So we have three gear makers. Seems legitimate so far. Normally I spread out my builds real, real far. And it's like, it's easy to just daisy chain stuff around or whatever. But here I'm trying to be a little more conscientious of space. I want it to be compact and also good future-proofing kind of stuff. That looks fine to me. The only thing I'm missing is red circuits. Now, what needs red circuits? You... D no, you don't. Is it literally just you? You're the only one that needs red circuits straight up? You need green circuits, so this has to go around as well. You need green circuits. Yes, you do. Oh, oh, but, oh, but, but, hold on. Okay. Green circuits, gears. Um, so I'm going to set a limit here. Then I'm going to set that limit to 20. On top of that, I don't want... I don't need that many splitters. We're trying to keep everything lean. Need super tons of that. So 20 is good. This can go to stacks. Let's go two full stacks. No condition set. One of those, do the same thing here, bibbly boop, change that to 20. This one, similar take on the whole damn thing. Uh, boop, boop. We'll do more adjusting and tweaking and prototyping and stuff later, but for now I think I'm pretty happy with this. I think maybe at this point... We should be really pushing on reds. And then this has no limit. This has no limit. Adjustable as the player sees fit, really. Um, good. Good. Plates. Good. Okay, so the only thing I'm really missing is red circuits, right? How do we get red circuits to here? Uh, without this being a total butt. It's gonna be a total, it's gonna be a total B-U-T-T -T butt for sure. That sucks and I hate it. I can't even power the damn thing. Um, no, sir, I don't like it. What if we handle this a little differently? I like that much better. Red circuits, gears, you're not getting gears. Gears, red circuits, yep. Gears, yep. Gears, green circuits. Uh, how many red circuits do you need? You need 10. I kind of feel really dumb and wasteful having a full everything of a thing. That seems good to me. That half fills the line. Um, not too bad. A little clustery, but not too bad, I don't think. Uh, 
Uh, oh, I made these all with blue. Um, fine? Fine. Uh, this is T2. Belt works. Save it. I'll take that, thank you. You can have that, thank you. And you go right in the bin. Awesome. Let's go and load up our test world. The test live one, I'm still trying to work on the timings. The test one, I don't think I really care too much about. Uh, let's see here. Belt works. Um, boop. Boop. That's better, thanks. Okay. So the belt works requires iron, green circuits, and I'm not too entirely sure how I'm going to do this. Like, I don't... The problem with this blueprint is I don't have a super great way to just pull items out of this and be like, cool. I... You're right. Like, we're good to go. I have I have items now. I don't really have a super great way to do that. So I guess I'm just going to abuse the crap out of this like I did with the other thing, too. Um, I guess I could just do this in the blueprint world, maybe? Uh, oh, you didn't get plugged in. Oh, you're not supposed to be plugged in. That's fine. I see yellow belts. I don't see red belts because gears? Yes, because gears. Um, gears are taking a while to make it. Yep. That's honor. I don't need this to be someone slap their hands together and boom, we have a ton of stuff. This can be a slow burn project. I don't need 200 belts every like five seconds, right? <laughs> like, that's what I'm getting at. Like, a lot of this stuff is warming up nicely. 20. Why are you not? Ah, uh, bean biscuit. So that'll fix that. Nope. Oh, what? Oh, crap. I can't get yellow belts up here. I can, but it's gonna look dumb sauce. Um, it'd be something like this. Ah, oh, I hate that so much. Yeah, I I don't think I care for that at all. Um, but yeah, like I said, this can just be a slow whatever project. Um, let's go ahead and put in... Can I, uh, do I get infinity barrels? Or infinity pipes a thing? Infinity pipe, it hella is, nice. Uh, you are... Oh, I've never messed with this before. Cool, there you go. Missing reds. Because you don't have an output. Uh, oh. Uh Oh, I see. Um There we go. Okay. So a few adjustments are necessary. Can I move that somewhere else? Nope. 
Not really. Ugh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't I don't like it. But that's okay, I don't have to love it. Uh, we could do more testing and more tweaking and more whatever later. This seems like a decent type 2. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So let's see, what did we fix? That. That is one thing we fixed. Um, this is busted for reasons. Which I'm actually going to do like that, or whatever. Make it very clear stuff is missing. Um, this worked out fine. This, I don't, I don't like this at all. I want to use, I want, I want cheap. I want cheap, baby. Cheap, cheap. I can't have cheap. No can has cheap. Yeah, the problem is if I put this here, this puts it in a very illegal spot. So this guy has to be here. This has to be here. That has to be there. And this whole thing has to do its own kabang bang, right? I can't think of any other way at this juncture to make this any more compact. We could weave items through, but that's kind of where I want to keep the output buckets. Uh, we also changed... That's fine. That's fine. Um, you know what? The circuit network only really makes sense much later in the game. For now, I'm just going to remove it. It doesn't make any sense right now, I don't think. Um, now I think I'm happy with it. And add. Here we go. Save it to BP. Okay. Uh, good stuff. Save. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's get rid of that. Uh, save the test. Load the blueprint world. Uh, I am happy with this. This baby is in production. Just gonna chuck her right down there. Oh, actually, that's the wrong one. Nuke. This is the correct one. Boop. Okay. I'm happy with that as our first draft. Okay, that's done, that's done, that's done. Um, going to Tech 2 fully is going to mean this apparatus. That means we're going to have to f dabble our first time in oil land. Oh, actually, up here is my production stuff. Down there is my disposables, I think. This, these are all the ones that we've tested and I just didn't care for. Um, this one is fine. This is a copy of this, just by itself. I'm gonna bring it up. Come on. Thank you. Right there's fine. Okay, let's talk about oil. Oil can be very intimidating. It does not have to be. It does not have to be at all. So how can I get all this stuff so a player is deploying it once and we never have to mess with this really again? Well, a couple of observations is we can't put the oils right next to each other without mixing. There's a couple ways we can do this, and some of them are going to suck, but we'll go through it all together. The way I normally do this is I do something like this. And then I do underneath these in between all the stuff. So I'll just do this real quick here. Something like... Nope. Wait, yes. So something like this, yeah? I'm going to grab it right here. Paste, paste, paste. This is how I normally operate, and then I put power poles in between all the stuff. This tries to give me the most amount of compactness I can possibly get. 
other alternative ideas, if we wanted to really buckle it all in together and really get some more compactness, you can already see uh, for every, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. For every, I'd say for every six, uh, like this, you get seven like this, yeah? Now, in order for this to work, we're going to have to do a little more underneath the magic. Which, again, I think this wastes a lot of space. This is not how I would do it, but whatever. Well, I want to talk through all the stuff, right? So this has to look like this. And that. And then this looks like this. That. This looks like this. And that. Now... Uh, the benefit of this kind of a style is it looks really freaking cool. It makes it it makes it like a liquid bus, very visual and and straight up, right? This might be a little complicated to look at. By and large, I believe this uses the exact same amount of underneath these 30, 24. So a little less on this. Well, we got another refinery, right? Two four. We have six. We have an extra refinery up here, so that's why it's 30. But this uses the same amount. Of underneath these, I would believe. It's literally one underneath the per port. Still kind of the same dilly dilly, I think. Um, so let's just map it out, right? So if I want five, let's do let's do five items. What what does a bus of five look if we do five refineries? So let's see here. This takes 30. This takes 24. Okay. So this one's cheaper somehow. I'm not entirely sure, but it is somehow. Um, let's see here. We have 8. 8 by 29. Let me get the old calculator out. Ye old notepad. 8 by 29 it was. Cool. I typed it into... Hey, no fighting, fools. Oh, it's, it's the time of day or what's going on, but the cat's being feisty. This is 8 by 29, which is 232. I wish I could do calculator stuff in Notepad. That would be amazing. And this is 12 by 25. 300. So... Realistically, this one is more compacted. This one also apparently is cheaper. Oh, I also didn't talk about how we're powering this. There we go. Uh, the power is not really that big of a deal. Uh, realistically, the spacing here is required because of this connection. There's no clean way for me to, to move it around. Um, actually, I just had another idea. What if we combined both uh, philosophies? Nope, we can't, because there's your collision. Um, but stay with me. Stay with me on this. Uh, I think we might have some brilliant bread und butter. I'm just moving all this over, making it very compacted. And then we do something like this. Maybe, maybe that's a fair compromise. I don't know. We'll, we'll do the math. We'll figure it out. This doesn't seem terrible to me. And then it just... be Right? That kind of seems like the deal there. Um, actually, it would probably be like... Oh, we could just do that. We kind of cheat a little bit there. And then there's that. So what does this look like? Math-wise. Roadhouse. This is 25 by 10, so 250. So this is literally the perfect mix between this and this. Um, this maybe comes off as a little complex, but it is nice and tight. This is 28, this is 24, and this was 34. Yeah. Yeah, it's the perfect mix between the two systems. Um, honestly, if I was going to do anything, compactness is still my jam. I think I really like the way I've been doing it. 
forever and ever. <laughs> it just... It feels good. I don't know. Uh, realistically, both of these systems are very fine. If you want to copy-paste again, bam. You're done, right? Uh, same thing here. Bam, you're done. Bam, you're done. I think this adds unnecessary complexity. Merging the two. And this one is smaller anyway. But I think this is the one we're going to go with. So... We're going to grab all this... And we're going to move it over to the... We're not using this zone. It's not... Those weren't bad templates. I just... We did the math. We ran the numbers. I like this better. Okay. So, why am I doing it like this? You might be like, Well, John, when you first unlock oil, you only have basic oil processing. It only kicks out one item. That's correct. What I'm trying to do with my experience of playing the game is I want to make sure that we have as much of this figured out as possible... To the nth degree without going insane, right? So in this case, I need water. And I also have a couple of byproducts, which I want to get prepared for right away. No matter what solution we choose, it's all going to be the same. I'm going to design this the exact same way. I don't think there's any need to do the underneath the thingamadoo to the thing and all that. Um, but this is going to be this. And to save on uh, iron, we do underneath these for one of these. Uh, for what the math checks out is a pipe to ground is 5 iron plus 10 pipes as opposed to just 10 pipes. So we waste about... we don't waste. We spend 50% extra. We do 50% extra for the pipe to ground. So I want to use pipe to ground as little as, as we figuratively, humanly possibly can. This works out pretty good for me. Uh, if I want to really trim one more space out of it, we could do this just like we're doing the above, right? Again, it's kind of iron heavy. So we'll do something like this. I think this works out pretty well for us. Um, this is under the assumption that we'll be doing advanced oil processing when we get there. For now, we'll just set it to regular oil processing. That's all there is to that. So there's, there's our oil, right? It didn't take too long. Are you still with me? Are you scared? I'm also scared. Don't worry about it. Now, with this oil, we're going to ultimately make blue science. So I'm going to figure that out, and we'll work our way backwards, as I've said before. Uh, let's grab... Green science and red science. So red science is going to make 10 every 5 seconds, so 2 a second. This makes 6, we have 12, it makes 2 a second. How much do I need to make 2 a second for blue science? Blue science is going to be the first one that actually has a multiplier. It actually produces 2 of an item. You know what's funny is my cursor is too big for whatever reason, so I gotta look at my OBS capture and make sure it says two. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like that says two to me. I'm okay. Is there any other way I could figure this out? Settings, graphics? Nope. Controls? Nope. Interface? I don't think that's what I want. Uh, I can't change my cursor size, which is freaking unfortunate. Uh, anyway, I believe this produces two chemical science packets per per dilly dilly. Uh, I want to figure that out for sure, though. I know I'm being a little wishy washy, but I can't really see what's going on. Um, I need sulfur, advanced circuit engines, sulfur, advanced circuit. Yes, I might be doing this a very, very long and wrong way, but I don't care. The trick energy interface, thanks. Okay. Two. Okay, great. So, I want two every second. So this produces two, so we can divide the thing by half. It produces one pack every 12 seconds. So 12, we just do the math, 12 
Six. Three. Damn it. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, two, four. Let's do it this way. Six. These six will produce two each every 24. That means that produces one every... No, my brain just died. Hold on, let me start over. For every 24 seconds, it produces two. So it produces one every 12 seconds. Uh, if I do six, we're producing one every two seconds. This is two every two seconds. This would be two every one second. I don't think that's correct. Let me work through that math again. So 24 seconds, 24 crafting time. Let's get a calculator out here. Uh, if I have one every 24, uh, what do we have here? 24. Oh, that would be two every second. Yeah. Uh, really easy. If I have 24 and it takes 24 seconds to make, that's one a second. If I want two every 24, I need double. Yeah. So these 12 are going to produce... Uh, 12 every 2... No, 2 every 12 seconds. 1 every 12 seconds. Oh, 1 every 12... Oh my god. 1 every 12 seconds. Or... Two every 24 seconds. Okay. So if I want to really do one for one, this is how many labs I need. Uh, just to give you sake of, of argument of what we had before. For this, for green, I needed four, five, six. I needed 12. Get out of here. For reds, I needed only 10. So this is a visual representation of how many labs I need to keep up with two bottles a second. Yeah, okay. Oh, that was a pain in the ass, but we got there. Much of my math is less mental anymore and more just, oh god. Uh, that means I need 24 sulfur every 24 seconds. I need one sulfur a second. That's easy. How much do you produce? Uh, two sulfur every second. Okay, so we need literally one of these. Boop. We need plastic for red circuits. We'll get there in a second. What do we need for engines? You need two every 24. So I need... Four a second? Uh, let's do some quick calc in here. I need 24 engines every two seconds. I'm actually going to divide that by 24 divided by 2. So I need an engine every 12 seconds times 24 machines. I need 28, 288 engines every 12 seconds, which means I need 24 engines a second. I believe that's correct. Okay, 24 engines. How much engine can you make? 10 seconds. So if I do 10, that's one engine a second. This, I think I screwed up on this math. Hold on. My math is really freaking bad right now. If I do... Actually, I'm just going to show my screen so you can see my freaking calculator. Boop. Don't worry about the stuff below. <laughs> uh, if we could do... I have 24 blue makers, right? Each of the blue makers needs two engines. And I need this every 24 seconds. I need two engines a second. Okay. Woof. Two engines a second means what? Ten... Would give us one engine a second. I need 20 engine makers. Okay. Poof. That was effort, dude. Now again, there's a lot of uh, mods and stuff that kind of make this easy to do this math. I, I'd rather just do the math on my own, even if it's wrong. That's kind of my thought. Because I, I really enjoy the exercise of it. Um, that's how many engine makers I need. We'll just compact it up real quick. Now this is just to keep blue, blue science going. Nothing else. Um, I should also figure out how much oil do I need. I need 30 oil a second. You produce 100, no, 45 every 5.
Let me get that freaking calculator back out here. Hey there, guys, gals. Nope. <laughs> that was a fun thing. That was a fun thing that just happened. I'm leaving it in. It'll be a fun Easter egg that no one will see. Me accidentally hitting my exit frame. <laughs> uh, okay, I need 30 a second. I need 30 a second. Yep. Uh, and it takes five seconds for this process to work. Okay, so 30 times five is 150 divided by 45. I need four refineries. I need four refineries to make this work. So one, two, three, four. Okay, boop. There we go. Yep, perfect. Uh, this is going to be enough to output to that. This also needs water. We'll figure it out on placements later. As long as we at least get like most of the math done, that'll be a good, good episode time. Now, what do I need for red circuits? I need three red circuits. Uh, let's see here. How many do I need? How many red circuits do I need per second? So let's see here. I have... Let's get the calculator back out here. Uh, calculator? Hello, there we go. Okay, good stuff. I have 24 machines. Each 24 machines require three and I need this every 24 seconds. So divide by 24. No, what ha damn it, what happened? 24 machines times three because I need three of them divided by 24. That means I need three. I need three a second. I need three. I need three red circuits a second. I guess that divided out pretty well. I didn't need to do all that math. What do I? This produces one every six seconds. So if I need three every second. Oh, go away. <laughs> Uh, if I build six, that's one a second. That's two a second. That's three a second. That's how many machines I need to make that work. So that goes there. That math is done. Plastic. Your next friend. I need two. Two every six seconds. How many machines do I have here? 18. All right, let's get the calc back out here. I have 18 machines times two plastic I require. It takes six seconds to make this thing. I need six plastic per second. How much plastic can you make? I think you make two. You make two a second. So I need boop. Uh, but, but, but. That's what I require. That feeds like that. Next, I need green circuits. And I think, I think we're kind of done. Oh, I need, I need copper. Copper cable. How much copper cable? Four every six seconds. So, for my 18 machines, I need four divided by six. That was the wrong thing. 18 times four divided by six. 12. I need 12 copper wire a second. That sounds about correct. How much copper wire can you make a second? Two. And I needed how much? 12? Okay. Uh, there we go. There's that. Uh, then green circuits. So I'm not counting... I'm not even counting the green circuits in here. So we're going to do this and this. How many green circuits do I need? I need two. Alright. Uh, calculator comes back out. 18 times 2 divided by 6. I need 6 green circuits a second. You make one a second, so okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this requires three green three copper cables every half second. Actually, this is not correct. This is half second timing. I only need three, I think. Yeah. And actually this is incorrect as well, because this is half second timing. Boop. Um, let's redo that math before I completely kibosh stuff. You need how many copper cables? Four. So I have 18 times four divided by six. 12. Uh, we make 
two every half second. So actually, this gets divided by two for the production, and then divided by actually be multiplied by 0.5. So I actually only need three machines. Yep. That should do it. Now the math here seems a little squiffy. Oh, no it doesn't. This is the same. Even though, okay, so this requires half as many green circuits. Uh, but it means twice as much wire, and that works because we're producing twice as much wire per thing. Yep. And now for copper cable for this. Uh, it's a 3 to 2 ratio. I know that because I've memorized the crap out of it. So this is going to look something like this. One, two, three, and that's one segment, right? Um, to make it look like this, what we would do is I would just realistically do something like this. Boop. There we go. We're going to overproduce slightly. It's fine. I'm not going to cry about it. Or if we want to keep everything completely linear, we would do something like this. There you go. There's all the greens you need, right? More than enough. A little over is not going to kill anybody. But anyway, there's that. Okay. So, plastic engines, red circuits, green circuits, wire wire, oil, uh, I forgot what this is called again. Sulfur. <laughs> that's all I need for blue science, right? <laughs> yeah, that's all we need. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Cracks Knuckles. Let's power through this. I'd like to see if we could get a rough draft of some blue science figured out end to end. So, this is going to get copied and thrown over here as a reference uh, chart. What I would like to do is I'd like to clean this up slightly. There's that representation. Here's this representation. This is supposed to be inserters. That can go away. Um, this can be wires, actually. Okay, that's all the stuff we made. Now, this goes here. It is, it has barely enough space. Oh, no. Okay. Whew. Whew -hoo -hoo. Okay. It has barely enough space for me to put that there. Is it, was that my observation? It was. Ah, toots, man. Toots. Okay, a little bit of housekeeping. Bear with me. Bring your own bears, but bear with me. Okay. Now we have is a very good visual representation of what we require to move on to whatever or what we've done so far and the ratios we've used for these sorts of products. Now, for blue, um, these smelters actually represented steel. So we're going to go ahead and throw that there, because I didn't figure out how much steel we need yet. But this goes here, this goes here, that goes there, blue science comes up here. Just about. Yep, something like that works out well. What else did we make? Uh, where do we go? Was there anything else that we made up here? Red circuits, plastic, sulfur, oil... Nope, I think that's it. Okay, so now we're better encapsulating the stuff that we're working on with whatever ratios, and just because I really like it, I'm just going to keep this separated down here because I like it. Okay, good stuff. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Deep breaths, right? <laughs> that, was, that was a bit of a push. That whole thing was a push, certainly. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make sure that we've got a bit of availability later for expansion. So what I'm going to do is something probably like this for light and heavy and whatever. That way we can stash these products without causing too much of a mess. You're going to do sulfur. Thank you kindly. And yes, you're going to pipe. Actually, let's one, two, three, something like that. 
because I want pumps and stuff. Uh, I want room for pumps and stuff, so I'm not going to add that now, but I'm keeping that in mind. This goes anywhere else, literally, thanks. Uh, we've determined we only need a singular chemical plant to get this to work. I also need three plastic to make this work. Water is going to come in through here. So to make this a little less suck... Once water is incorporated into the system at all, um, I'd like this to be tappable and ready. Something like that doesn't look that great, but it'll work for me. Actually, something like that doesn't work that great for me either, actually. Um, there we go. That seems a little saner, and I still get my pump whenever I want it. Um, good. Okay. And then this looks like this. You also require coal, which we've not incorporated into the system yet. If we're going from left to right... Um... You know what? Yeah. Yep. I just changed my mind on a few things. We are going from left to right. So that goes away. This can get all... ...noshed out of here. Something like this is a little saner. One, two... Boop. And then here's light. And then here is heavy. Something like that. Keep this, keep this kind of compact, right? There we go. That looks that looks better, I think. Um, this is going to come right about here. Again, I want enough room for a pump. Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. Yeah, looks good. Uh, for water, let's try this again. Oh, I think I like this a little bit better. Yep, that better. Then we've got water, and we've got all the stuff just ready to go. When we do the cracking, we'll do cracking and crap later. Maybe that'll be a second different blueprint, or blueprint we just slap on top of this one. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I want to do it. How much coal do you need per thing? One, and you eject two plastic bars. Okay. Rude. Um. Uh. Huh. How do this? <laughs> My brain just absolutely crapped on itself. How with the doing of? Oh, I know how we could do this. Fairly, fairly stupidly, but it would still work. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good. Um, actually, it would look a little more like this. So where's the leftmost of this? Right here? And you are going to be circle. Up, up. Okay, we got coal coming in. If we did something like this. Cool. Coal, coal, I mean. <laughs> uh, so there's your plastic. There is your... Why? I want to say yellow Tiberium. There's no such thing as yellow Tiberium. It's sulfur. Oh my god. This just needs water and petrol. Nothing super fancy. 
Um, what I will do is I will set this up to this to be bottled water. Oh, there's that. That shows where that belongs in that system. Okay, not too terrible, right? We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, if we want to integrate green circuit production into this, I also need iron and copper. I don't know if I want this to be one pasteable thing and be like, there's all your blue science, have fun with it, or what I want to do. I have that copied a couple of times, don't I? Let's. My brain is a little on the fritz. Crazy town man. Let's get this polished off. Let's get this polished off, like how blue science is going to be uh, receiving resources, and then we'll go from there. Um, this is going to have to be an inside-outside job because we're taking in a few items and we're pushing out a few items as well. Meaning, I can't I can't split it quite like we did for green or yeah, like this. This worked out really well because two items went in, one item went out. Keep it all on the inside. In this case, uh, it's either going to be a lot of weaving and garbage or something. So let's let's work with a couple of things and see what we do. I'll take some more of that. Thank you. And then this is going to be. Uh, uh, something like that. So this means it'll take in one set of items. Uh, we'll do it this way. Yeah, a weaving, weaving is a very expensive thing. Because of the nature of the beast, uh, it costs quite a bit of materials and minerals and everything to get it working and working correctly. It's also a gigantic pain in the ass to troubleshoot. But if done correctly, it's it's stonking beautiful. Faster underground is in the way. You're not going to believe this, but yes. Okay. Uh, I think I messed up. This is about how this would look. Now the other issue is power. Power is going to be a bit of a pain as well. I think I screwed something up real bad here. Um, this is correct. That means that's correct, and that's... Best underground is in the... Dude, you're not going to believe this, but yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's right. You just don't connect to anything yet. And you're facing the wrong way. That might be part of the conflict. Okay, let's try this again. Yep, this is jacked up. If you don't know what's going on, just start over. Way better than, like, I could spend a ton of mental energy trying to troubleshoot, or I could just start over. So this is an example of what's called weaving, belt weaving. By using the underneath these, I'm literally going up and down and up and down and up and down. Uh, we, I don't know how to say it, but weaving. The benefit of this is it's very compact. It keeps a lot of everything really incredibly tight in a very short, in a very small area. Uh, if I'm just going to... The thing that makes this difficult, though, is the expense. Um, this is very, very expensive, iron-wise, to fix a very nominal problem, right? But again, 
What I'd like to do is I'd like to set up the whole thing, and then we'll just see which cheaper or more expensive. So what happens is we have two... There are two lions inside of you, right? <laughs> there are two wolves. The first wolf, Chimkin Nuggets. The second wolf, Chimkin Nuggets. It's very simple. Uh, we have two different lanes here. And actually, to make this a little more visually appealing, I'll use the same color. Um, as long as you use different underneath these, it works. Uh, don't ask me how. Magic. But realistically, we could feed two items on one belt, two items on another belt going in, and this ensures that both systems are getting fed, happy, and fed, right? Like that. Same deal. And then this is going to spit out our blue science. Blech. Just like that. That's how this would work. That can get trimmed up. So that's this is one solution. This this has all 24 of our things. Uh, it is very stupidly expensive though, iron-wise. If you're going for maximum compactness, I cannot think of an ease uh, a, a better way to do it. So this is a way to do it for sure. Let's take a look at what a different solution might be like. Let's pull that out. Separate this out a little bit. Uh, we would do output on the outside. So again, my philosophy is in on the inside. So on the inside of this little belt thing. Here's our inside. And then out on the outside, right? We're going to see a very clear difference right now, pretty immediately, how much less expensive this is in terms of use. So I'm still using the yellow belts this and then this is going to be just very simple there's your block okay there you are and then same deedly do on the other on the other side boop boop Now how do you... Uh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Boop. And skrboop. And skrboop. So what does this cost? 156 belts, no underneath these whatsoever. This uses... This uses a ton of materials. This is a little expensive for sure. Uh, it's very visually appealing as opposed to this, but whatever. Um, I'm going for cost. Cost probably first and then compactness. I'm kind of maybe flip-flopping a little bit in between that. But still to point, that's kind of what I'm going for. So this is a cool prototype. I'm not even going to bother measuring it. This is a cool prototype. That's production. This goes here, but I'm not going to use it. This is this is what we're going to use. So get out of here. Um, I can't think of any other way to make this any more lean. But there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a break. My brain is fried. I, I had problems multiplying things by two. <laughs> How exhausted do you have to be, huh? Oh, okay, good stuff. Um, so, uh, what did we do? A little bit of tweaking. We did the math on blue science. We got that all figured out. Uh, I'm happy with the ratios. The two science a second is still what I'm aiming for. Hey, human music. I like it, right? <laughs> so, uh, thank you all for joining me. My name is John Megacycle, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.